Hello, I'm Mrs. Thompson and I'm the teacher for Primary 4T for this year. I am really looking forward to working with your children and doing all the things that Primary 4 get to do, including we're even going to be doing some swimming this year and some rugby. I am going to take you on a little bit of a tour of our classroom and let you see what it looks like and then show you a little bit of what is happening in the year ahead. Okay, we're going to move round our classroom and we start off with our daily timetable and this is on the radiator near where the children sit. It shows us what we are doing in the day and we move it along as our day progresses. Moving around the room, we have got our 100 square on the wall to help us with our mats and if I go down, we've got one of our tables all set up ready to go. Moving round the room, this is their artwork that they are currently doing with Mr Kimmett. They do that on a Wednesday. And we have another table. Then we've got one of the storage areas for all Mrs Thompson's bits and pieces. On the wall we have got our megaphones and we were doing all about me with our megaphones. We have started our building resilience work and our theme for just now is look on the bright side. So we're going to be looking at things that make us happy and add them to the wall. We've got our coat hanger ready for us, all sorted for when we come in. Moving around the room, we've started our V-cop wall, showing some of the vocabulary and the connectives and punctuation and openers that we are using in primary four so far. Going down, we have our trays for finished work and our trays to store all our bits and pieces in. Moving round, we've got my bits and pieces and all our whiteboards. And then we've got a cupboard full of games and my huge box of Lego. Okay, going round the room, we have our house point charts. Then we have our lovely iPad trolley, so that we all have an individual iPad to use in the class. We've got our lovely library area, and it has a wide range of books, including a poster for the book we are about to start reading, The Really Weird Removal Company. And then we have our class charter with all our things that we made up as a class. And then we move to our Mad About. Our Mad About, this time, we chose Stevie Wonder as our icon. And we were describing Stevie. We were choosing album covers that we liked. And we also created timelines to show what's happened in Stevie's life so far. And then moving round to the last bit of the room. Last bit of the room, we have got our jotters, our folios, and our smart board, which connects to my laptop. So there we have primary four classroom. So we whiz round. At the moment, we have no whiteboard in the room, but that's on its way. We got rid of the big board. We also have on the wall our talk partners, which we change on a Monday. We change the child on the right, moves down the way until we have a different partner. Moving around the room, we then settle back to the laptop and I have a little PowerPoint I would like to let you see. If we look at learning to begin with, our main curricular focus this year is literacy in English, numeracy in maths, and health and well-being. We will also be doing other curricular areas, project, which at the moment is our mad about, expressive arts, and religious and moral education. Okay, if we break it down a little bit to learning for literacy and English, we are doing reading, comprehension, book detectives, picture book focuses, Spelling, we've just started doing our spelling words and practicing them each week. Handwriting, we are going to do handwriting on Friday with cursive handwriting. We do our writing on a Thursday as our big focus 
although we are doing a little bit on a Monday just now, and a non-fiction focus linked to our topic books. Moving on to maths, at the moment I am still doing seal assessments with the children to make sure we start at the correct area. We are all doing number talks and we are doing numeracy. We've been doing a little bit of work on addition and subtraction, looking at colouring in our mosaics to make a picture. And this week we've just started doing time, so if your children start talking about calendars and working out how long it takes to do something, you'll know where it's come from. Okay, so we are over the year going to be looking at time, money, measurement, 2D shape, 3D objects, health and well-being. Jim, we have PE two hours a week. At the moment, we are going to be starting swimming after the September weekend. So we get to go up to Abbey Hill Primary School for a block of swimming. And we're very lucky we have Ross in doing rugby once a week. Our Building Resilience Programme, we've just started doing Look on the Bright Side. We are working on physical, social and emotional health. We're looking at food technology throughout the year, relationships and sexual health. And we're looking at the topic the children have asked to do is a topic on diversity once we've finished our Mad About. This is on the back of the fact that they have learned that Stevie Wonder is blind and we want to look at a range of disabilities and a range of reasons why people are treated differently. Looking at diversity, building up to our school work, our school charter on LGBT. Okay, safety. School starts at 8.55 and we come in at Jameson Place in the double gates. Our break is 11 till 11.15. We've got our own area and our own box with toys in it and we get to go to the bathroom before we go out for break. Lunch. This week we've just started having lunch in the dinner hall. So lunch is 12.40 to 1.20. So dinner hall, toilet and then outside to play. Home time. School finishes at 3.20 Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and at 12.10 on a Friday. PE is Tuesdays and Thursdays, so we would like the children to come to school dressed in their sports clothing because we don't change in school, we don't bring extra clothes with us. Hand washing and sanitising. Pupils will sanitise their hands with gel on arrival to the school or into the playground if there's someone out there and before entering the classroom. Wash their hands in class before being outside, going to the toilet and before lunch. We've got hand sanitizers dotted around the school. Communication. We have a range of ways that you can communicate with us. There's information about the school on the school website, which is lornprimary.co.uk. We run a text message service. So that keeps you in the loop about what's happening. If I jump you down, Edinburgh Council's website is edinburgh.gov.uk and it has things like school holidays on it. We have a Twitter account and we are hoping that we will be putting things onto the account very soon. I want to add the Mad About video the children are in the process of making. So that you will find us at Lorne at Lorne School. And if you want to contact me directly, it's jennifer.thompson at lorne.edin.sch.uk okay and if you contact me directly I will try to get back to you if it's something I can help you with or I will forward it on to management thank you very much for watching the video all about me if you have any more questions about me then you can ask them in email or you can ask your child and they can ask me. Okay, I am always here and I will try to answer questions as best I can. I am looking forward to this year and hoping that we're going to have great fun. Thank you. Goodbye.